submarine safety and rescue is a critical part of RSN operations. To support our submarine operations, we have developed these niche submarine rescue capabilities over the years. The MV Swift Rescue is equipped with a suite of capabilities to support a full spectrum of rescue operations. When called upon, we will perform this mission swiftly and decisively. A submarine rescue operation consists of five broad phases, namely the alert phase, mobilization, search, escape and rescue, and lastly, post operations, which includes medical treatment. First, the alert phase. This is when our HQ is being alerted of a submarine in possible distress. Phase two, mobilization. When activated, the crew springs into action. We will prepare the ship and slip off within hours. Mission planning is conducted en route to the location. Phase 3. Search. Locating a submarine at sea is like looking for a needle in a haystack, as the submarine and its operation are inherently stealthy. We will start from a datum or the last known position of the submarine, and then we will plan for a search box. The longer we take, the bigger the box. Once we commence searching, Swift Rescue will use her equipment on board, including the remotely operated vehicle. Upon locating the distressed submarine, we will move on to the next phase of operation, Phase 4, which is the rescue phase. We will use the deep search and rescue vehicle, also known as DSA-6, to mate with the submarine. We will use underwater telephone to communicate with the submarine and to coordinate the rescue. The DSA-6 will match her air pressure with the submarine to allow the submariners to escape safely. Submariners in a distressed submarine may face multiple extreme health hazards such as fires, toxic fumes, and extreme atmospheric pressure. When rescued, they may additionally face life-threatening injuries from decompression injuries due to rapid changes in pressure. MVC Rescue is equipped with medical facilities to treat underwater-related injuries. The recompression chamber allows our medical personnel to provide a controlled reduction in air pressure for our submariners to acclimatize their bodies to normal environmental pressure. The medical team can also concurrently treat our submariners in a pressurized environment. Having such specialized medical facilities allows us to maximize the survivability of our submariners. Submarine rescue is a capability that we will train hard for, but hope that we will never use. Beyond the RSN, we also share and collaborate with like-minded partners to further enhance the safety of our fellow submariners at sea.